one-on-one -on -one tutorial ba ang hanap mo? Tara, pag-usapan natin kung paano mag-solve ng radical equations. Ang lesson natin ngayon ay solving radical equations. So let us define radical equation. A radical equation is any equation that contains one or more radicals with a variable in the radicand. So magbibigay ako rito ng mga equations na kung saan i-identify natin kung alin sa mga ito ang radical equations. Okay? So yung number 1, square root of 5x equals 6. Sabi sa ating definition, dapat ay mayroong variable sa ating radicand. In our example number 1, mayroon tayong variable sa ating radicand, which is x. So therefore, question number 1 is an example of radical equation. Radical equation. The next question number 2, cube root of 12 equals x cube root of 4. Mapapansin natin sa ating radicand ay walang variable. Ang ating radicand dito ay 12 and the other one is 4. So therefore, question number 2 is not an example of radical equation. So ilalagay natin dito, not radical equation. The next question number 3, 3 square root of 2x minus 4 equals 9. Kung titignan natin ang ating radicand ay 2x na kung saan yung x ay variable. So ito ay isang halimbawa ng radical equation. So isulat natin, radical equation. The next question number 4, 3x square root of 5 plus 8 is equal to 6x. Ang ating variable ay wala sa loob ng radical sign. So, so itong question number 4 na ito ay not radical equation. So, ilagay natin, not radical equation. Okay, so mag-solve na tayo ng radical equations. Solve for the solutions of the following radical equations. Check the value of x whether it is a solution or extraneous solution. Question number 1. Square root of 2x equals 6. Ang unang gagawin natin dito ay i-square natin. 2, 2. Ang basis ng pagre-raise natin ay depende siya sa ating index. Kung ang index natin ay 2, ang i-raise natin na number ay 2 also. Pag ang index natin ay 3, ang i-raise din natin na number ay 3. So since ang index natin dito ay 2, so na-raise natin siya ng 2. Then ikakancel. So, ang may iwan na lang ay 2x equals 6 squared. So, 6 squared meaning that is 6 times 6 and that is equal to 36. Then, divide both sides by 2. Then, cancel natin yung. So, therefore, the value of x is 18. 36 divided by 2 is equal to 18. So, this is now the value of x. Then, i-check natin whether this 18 is a solution or extraneous solution. So, kopyahin lang natin ang ating equation. So, square root of 2x equals 6. Then, after that, substitute the value of x. Ang value of x natin ay 18. So, 2 times 18 equals 6. 2 times 18, so that is equal to 36. Then, equals 6. Square root of 36 is... 6. So, 6 is equal to 6. So, therefore, 18 is a solution. The next question, number 2. Fourth root of 8x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, ang unang gagawin natin dito ay ililipat natin itong negative 2 to the other side of the equation. So, ang maiiwan na lang ay fourth root of 8x. Since nilipat natin ito, so magiging positive. So, 4 root of 8x equals 2. Then, i-raise natin ito into 4. Since ang ating index ay 4. Then, ikakancel natin ito. So, may iwan na lang ay 8x equals 2 raised to 4. So, that is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So, that is equal to 16. Then, after that, divide both sides by 8. Then, ikakancel natin yung 8. Ang naiwan na lang ay x. So, 16 divided by 8 equals 2. So, therefore, the value of x is 2. Then, i-check natin. 
So, gamitin lang natin ang ating equation. Fourth root of 8x minus 2 equals 0. Then, fourth root of 8 times the value of x, which is 2. So, substitute natin. Minus 2 equals 0. Then, fourth root of 8 times 2 is 16. Minus 2 equals 0. Fourth root of 16. Or, this is fourth root of 2 raised to 4. Then, ikakancel natin yung 4 and 4. So, may one na lang ay 2. So, fourth root of 16 is 2. Minus 2 equals 0. Then, 0 is equal to 0. And they are equal. So, therefore, 2 is a solution. Ayan. So, ganyan lang mag-solve ng radical equations. So, let's have more examples. Number 3. 3 square root of 2x minus 4 equals 6. So, so i-raise natin ito into 2. Then, ganun din dapat sa kabila. 3 squared, then square root of 2x minus 4 and squared equals 6 squared. Then, 3 squared, so that is 3 times 3 equals 9. Then, Cancel natin yung radical, saka yung exponent na 2. So, ang may iwan na lang ay 2x minus 4. Then, 6 times 6 is equal to 36. Then, apply na natin yung distributive property. 9 times 2x is equal to 18x. Then, 9 times negative 4 is negative 36 equals 36. Then, lipat natin itong negative 36 sa kabila. So, may iwan na lang ay 18x equals 36 plus 36. So, magiging plus na yung negative dito. Then, 18x equals 36 plus 36 is 72. Then, divide both sides by 18. Then, cancel natin yung 18. Then, x is equal to 4. By dividing 72 and 18. Or pwede rin ang solution na ito. Papihin lang natin ang ating equation. 3 square root of 2x minus 4 equals 6. Pwede tayo mag-divide agad ng 3 dito. Then ikakancel natin yung 3. So may iwan na lang ay square root of 2x minus 4 equals 6 divided by 3 is 2. Then I-raise natin ito into 2, then kakancel natin yun. So, ang naiwan na lang ay 2x minus 4 equals 2 times 2 is 4. Then, ilipat natin si negative 4 sa kabila. So, ang maiwan na lang ay 2x equals 4 plus, magiging positive na yan, so plus 4. Then, 2x equals 4 plus 4 is 8. Then, divide both sides by 2. Then, kakancel x equals 4. So, pareho lang sila sa unang solution natin. Okay, check natin kung yung 4 ba ay solution or extraneous solution. So, gamitin natin ang ating equation 3 square root of 2x minus 4 equals 6. Then, substitute natin yung ating value ng x. So, 3 square root of 2 times the value of x is 4. So, 2 times 4 minus 4 equals 6. Then, 3 square root of 2 times 4 is 8 minus 4 equals 6. Then, 3 square root of 8 minus 4 is 4 equals 6. 3 square root of 4 is 2 equals 6. 3 times 2 is 6 equals 6. So, 6 is equal to 6. So, therefore, 4 is a solution. So, 4 is a solution of the given equation. Okay, let's have more example. Question number 4. x minus 3 equals the square root of 2x plus 9. So, unang gagawin natin, i-square ulit natin ito. Square, then square. 
So, ito ay square of a binomial. So, apply lang natin yung special product dito. So, this is x squared minus x times 3 is 3x times 2, 6x. So, 6x plus square of 3. So, 3 squared that is equal to 9 equals, cancel natin dito sa kayon. So, ang naiwan na lang ay 2x plus 9. Then, combine similar terms. So, this is x squared minus 6x. Then, ilipat natin ito. So, magiging negative 2x plus 9. Then, ilipat ulit natin ito to the other side. So, magiging negative 9. Then, equals 0. Then, x squared negative 6x minus 2x is equal to negative 8x. 9 minus 9 is equal to 0, then equal 0. So, x squared minus 8x equal 0. Ang common factor dito ay x. So, ipa-factor out natin ang x. So, this is x minus 8 equal 0. Check na natin. x times x is x squared. x times 8 is 8x. Then, apply na natin yung 0 product property. So, this is x equal 0. And the other one is x minus 8 equal 0. So, meron na tayong value ng x which is 0. And the other one is, okay, solve lang natin. x equals, so negative, so magiging positive. So, yung isang value ng x ay 8. Okay, check natin. If x is equal to 0, if x equal 0, then, substitute natin sa ating equation, x minus 3 equals the square root of 2x plus 9. x is equal to 0. So, 0 minus 3 equals square root of 2 times 0 plus 9. 0 minus 3 is negative 3 equals 2 times 0 is 0. So, naiwan na lang si 9. And negative 3 equals, square root of 9 is 3. Negative 3 is not equal to 3. Therefore, 0 is an extraneous, extraneous solution. Ayan. How about the other one? If x is equal to 8. So, substitute natin. So, ang ating equation ay x minus 3 equals square root of 2x plus 9. Substitute natin yung value ng x which is 8. So, this is 8 minus 3 equals square root of 2 times the value of x is 8 plus 9. Then, 8 minus 3 is 5 equals 8 times 2 is 16 plus 9. Then, 16 plus 9 is 25. So, this is square root of 25. Then, 5 equals square root of 25 is 5. So, 5 is equal to 5. Therefore, 8 is a solution. Ayan. So, 8 is a solution. Okay. So, let's have question number 5. Cube root of x squared minus 12 equals cube root of 4x. So, so i-raise natin ito into 3 para matanggal natin yung radical sign. So, makakancel natin yan sa kato. So, ang naiwan na lang ay x squared minus 12. Then, sa kabila naman, kakancel natin ito sa kayan. So, ang maiwan din ay 4x. Then, equate natin into 0, so magiging x squared, lipat natin to, so magiging negative 4x minus 12 equals 0. Then, since factorable ito, so ipa-factor natin siya, x squared is x and x. The last term is negative 12 and the middle term is negative 4. So, this is negative 6, and the other one is 2. Check natin. Negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. Okay, so that's correct. 
negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Okay, so that's correct also. So therefore, the factors are x minus 6 and x plus 2. Then, apply natin yung zero product property. So this is x minus 6 equals 0. And the other one is x plus 2 equals 0. Then, lipat natin yung negative 6. So magiging x equals 6. So the value of x is 6. And the other one is, lipat natin ito, so magiging negative 2. Yan. So meron na tayong dalawang value ng x, 6, and the other one is negative 2. Okay, check natin. Punahin natin yung 6. So if x equals 6, then gamitin natin yung ating equation na cube root of x squared minus 12 equals cube root of 4x. Then, substitute na natin. So, cube root of 6 squared minus 12 equals cube root of 4 times 6. Then, next step, 6 squared. So, that is 6 times 6 and that is equal to 36 minus 12 equals cube root of 4 times 6 is 24. Then next, cube root of 36 minus 12 is 24. Then the other one is cube root of 24. Then they are the same. Therefore, 6 is a solution. So 6 is a solution of the given equation. How about the second one? If x is equal to negative 2. Then, gamitin pa rin natin yung ating equation. So, cube root of x squared minus 12 equals cube root of 4x. Substitute natin yung value ng x which is negative 2. So, negative 2 squared minus 12 equals cube root of 4 times negative 2. Then, cube root of Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Minus 12 equals cube root of 4 times negative 2, that is negative 8. Then, cube root of 4 minus 12 is negative 8. Equals cube root of negative 8. Then, they are equal. So, therefore, negative 2 is a... Uh, solution. So, negative 2 is the solution. Sana nakatulong ang video lesson na ito para mas lalo nyo pang maintindihan ang solving radical equations. Natuto ka ba? Ikaw. Nag-enjoy ka rin ba? I-like, share, and subscribe na! Hanggang sa susunod, mga katuto! Bye! Bye!